Howdy folks. Welcome to Woody's Corner. This is uh, our YouTube channel where we have uh, a lot of different topics. Uh, but this one, uh, I wanted to share this tool I found called Ping Plotter. And uh, I've been having some trouble with my Cox internet service to the point where, you know, we've had to have some techs come to the house. And the problem with it is, you know, it's an intermittent it's an intermittent disconnect when I, uh, the issues that we're having. And it seems isolated to our house. It's not like all our neighbors are being affected. So we're having some real challenges, you know, trying to figure out what's broke where. Uh, so this software will actually give me a view that I can even save, you know, I can collect data and I can show these technicians the what I'm seeing. But it basically is ping and trace just like they use. Uh, when they come and test things at your house, but uh, but this has got a lot, you know, of nice user features where again you can you can record this and get like 48 hours worth of uh, uh, activity, and then you can save the image of the graph, and then you can also save the data. Uh, so it's it's pretty cool. So it's called Ping Plotter. Uh, there's a free version. I ended up buying the standard version for $39 because I wanted to have something like this ongoing. I'm kind of into tech kind of stuff and, and being able to understand, you know, issues like this. And since having, you know, steady internet service is important, this is, I think, a good investment. Everybody ought to at least consider trying the free version and and uh, become more informed. Uh, the nice thing about, like, any disconnect or gosh, anything that goes on, I mean, it's right here. It it totally matches up to what we experience, you know, and so it's it's really cool. So uh, that's what it's about. Uh, I'm actually trying to capture and build a case to show Cox, you know, that the issues are definitely on their end, and, uh, and it's a regular kind of thing going on here, and uh, hopefully it can help them, you know, figure this out. Okay, so the way to read this, uh, there's lots of videos on this, you know, uh, on this product out there. They do a real good job documenting it. But what I've learned so far uh, is this top box here is going to show what they call the hops. Uh, so I'm just pinging uh, cox.net. I just decided to use cox. So you type that in up here and open a session and you know you can record it like say up to 48 hours. And uh, so uh, and it's basically over on the right here doing a ping. You could set it for different intervals. I'm using two and a half seconds and it seems to work. And and then the focus uh, of the graphs and stuff right over here in the top right, I have it set for five minutes. I mean, you can do it longer, but, uh, but you know, it helps show like where's some packet loss happening and it can be on all hops or like this one's kind of bouncing around in the last five minutes. Uh, but, you know, basically the way I understand this is like, this is my computer, which would be uh, this first line. And I don't have, I never see packet loss there. It's always blank off to the right here on this column for packet loss. And uh, and it's, it always starts here. And this is basically my cable modem talking to now going out to the Cox network. And this is where all the issues start. And what it seems to tell us from what I've learned uh, watching other videos is that, you know, it's on the Cox side from this point forward. Anyway, so... But does, as that ping travels through all the various servers and through their network, uh, it could show different packet loss, like maybe it starts further down into the network or whatever. But um, it's it's a lot of great information. And somebody on the tech side of this with Cox, you know, should understand this pretty well. And, and so I think this is a good tool to arm yourself with. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll eventually get them out here when I have enough problems that I can't take it anymore, I guess. Okay, and then the, the big graph down here is the running timeline. You can see it's got the hours, and I've got it set. You can right-click just about everything on here and get to the settings, but I've got it set for six hours. I mean, you could go three hours or, you know, the longer period when, I'm, when two days pass, it'll be 48 hours. And I've been snapping copies of this for the last couple of weeks, uh, you know, every 48 hours, or the last week, actually. And, uh, like, actually, this one here, let me do 12 hours, and you can see the earlier today, uh, all the red lines. So the red lines are the uh, packet loss. And when the bar gets thicker, that's like the duration of time that you had like a disconnect, let's say. And uh, so, you know, these quick ones uh, that are pretty sporadic, you could be on a Zoom 
and you'll see the zoom freeze on these quick ones and uh, and then eventually that window will close and and then try to come back open for zoom so you know those are a lot of the little disruptions you have when you're you're doing some work from home and uh, so but this morning you could see all the red packet loss lines and some of them were some duration I was I was really struggling with it this morning uh, it was up and down pretty bad and then it you know got stable there was a period of time where it was pretty quiet and then it just has those little intermittent ones and of course for packet loss uh so that's the red lines and then the black line down the middle is latency latency and there's always something there of course um it's just you might see some spiking and, and those spikes don't necessarily even map up to a packet loss situation okay so that's what it's all about. Uh, I'm excited to share it now that I found it. I had been Googling terms, you know, trying to find some kind of software. I figured there's something out there. And so to finally get it and now work with it and understand it, and now it's going to be part of what I share with people. And, uh, check it out. All right, thanks.